zata chicken. It's a Mediterranean dish. In kitchens, it's very important to have a very sharp knife rather than getting cut with a blunt knife. Hi guys, my name is uh, Chef Jay. I want to welcome you to Art Cafe Market. Um, since it's the festive season, we're in December and it, everyone's in a holiday mood. So I'd like to show you a recipe that I feel you guys would like to try at home with your family. It's quite simple and flavorful. So I know everyone will enjoy it. Uh, so what we'll be preparing today is called Zata Chicken. It's a Mediterranean dish that we seem to like a lot here. Even our customers, when they come, they ask for that quite a bit. And uh, it's, uh, it's warm, it's flavorful, and we feel like it's a holiday food in terms of you'd really enjoy it with your family. So I'll take you around the market. You can help me shop and it's mostly the ingredients are all sourced here at the market and every day it's fresh so I'm sure you'll enjoy it. So I'll need uh, white onions, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. need lemon, lemon, okay. some lemon, like Just one but you have to choose the very good one. Yeah. Okay so one. that is okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Okay, and, and then else? we also need to pick celery, leeks, and parsley. So that is from the tree. Chicken thighs, it's usually that it uh, is more succulent when we cook it, and that it, uh, even though the process we're cooking it will be in the oven and pan searing it, it'll still keep the moisture, it'll keep it soft, and it'll still taste good, and it'll absorb all the taste also. Hi Anthony. Hi. So we'll be making zata chicken today okay. and I'll need your help to prepare it okay. so we can do it together. Welcome to our kitchen. Um, I'll be taking you through the recipe with Chef Anthony. I'd also like to introduce you to how our kitchen usually functions. So while we have that talk, Anthony can prepare the ingredients and then we can do it together. So in the kitchen, in this kitchen especially, this is our production area and uh, we serve a cold deli and this is our hot deli. Usually we have an assortment of the dips, of salads. So at the moment we have all these salads, we have the various olives, sun-dried tomato, beetroot and uh, cucumber, egg marinated eggplant. So it's usually we try to cater for everyone who has different tastes and we like our display to look colorful as well as flavorful. And uh, in kitchens, Hygiene is very important, so that's why you can see we have gloves on, we have uh, hair nets on, we, we like to maintain our temperatures, so that's why having a temperature checklist is very important, just to know how our temperature is during the day, how, as you can see, it, it's per hour and we have to fill it in just so it, we know how the day has progressed in case we have any issues with temperature, we'll always know what's the reference. In, in, uh, when preparing recipes, 
cleaning your items is most essential because you you really want something to be clean, fresh, and uh, just so it you know everything is fresh. You have to really be thorough because even though vegetables come clean, you never know what pesticide. So they use when farming. As you can see, Chef Anthony is very thorough with how he's going through the leaves, checking each one. And you can see we're still using the three container system. So that's very essential. In uh, any production line, it's best to always stabilize your chopping board. So it's very recommended that you use a Spontex, a clean Spontex to stabilize the board as you can see while you're cutting it won't move there's no risk of getting cut and so we'll we can start with the leaks in kitchens it's very important to have a very sharp knife rather than getting cut with a blunt knife so all our meat, we have our own meat, our branded meat. This is what we also sell to customers. It's very fresh and it's everyone, we've got, everyone likes our meat. So what I'll do is just open the packet, wash it again, just to make sure everything is okay. So as Anthony is preparing the chicken, I'll carry on with showing, walking you through our za'atar marination. I just like to finely chop the garlic, just since we're making the marination now, just so it doesn't have an overpowering taste too much, having too big of a piece. So it's just good to have finely chopped garlic usually. So how fine you cut it depends on you personally. So we could go finer, but I recommend this size for the marination. So I'll take another bowl, just add it in. You can adjust the sides. Ninety grams of olive oil, then he'll have to use six grams of salt. Six grams of sumac. And uh, we'll also need to place 65 grams of Zata spice. And Anthony can add in the cloves of garlic that we finely chopped. five grams of the lemon juice. And to add in uh, sweetness to balance the taste, you'll also have to add in uh, 30 grams of honey. 
our honey is also locally based so locally sourced sorry it's that all the ingredients most to all the ingredients we use we like to source them locally so Anthony will just mix all the ingredients together just so it's evenly balanced so when we put it over the chicken he can So what I'll need Anthony to do, Anthony, could you please marinate, put it over, put half of the amount over the chicken while I prepare the other ingredients before we put it in the oven. I'll have to also take some Kalamata olives. They are key to the recipe also. So you don't really have to take too much, but this amount should be good enough. So what we can start with, after we've lined the insert with foil, we can take our parsley, place it just make a bed, make a bed out of the parsley, then we can start with adding in our onions. Not too many because you also need to keep some for the top. You can add in some of the leeks for now. So you, you really need to open up the leeks so they don't stick together. And then now since Anthony is finished with marinating the chicken, as you can see, you can just add in the meat. So to avoid cross-contamination, we'll just place the bowl back. and uh, have a change of gloves. So we'll repeat the same process, just add these items on the top, add in the lemon now. You don't really need to arrange it, you can just keep it on top, but I like to arrange things, so can add in the remaining onions, the leeks again, just add them back, and our Kalamata olives. Finally, we can add back our, the remainder of the dressing. To, to put the item in the oven, so while he puts this in the oven. I will we'll continue with making something that will complement the chicken. So he'll bake it for, I'll leave Anthony in charge of baking so Anthony can walk you through how many minutes and how hot the temperature should be. So the reason why we clump the foil together is so that none of the, when it's baking, none of the juices escape or go out so that's why it's pulled together and then we'll place foil on top again and now Anthony will place it in the oven for 15 minutes when the temperature is still at 180 
and then we'll remove it, pan sear it and make a sauce out of it. So we'll just take the chicken, so it's cooked for 15 minutes in the oven. So all we need to do now is pan sear it. But once, once the, you don't want the flame to be too high, so you can place it first like that. Well, So what you really need is to pan sear it till, till it has a golden brown colouring. So you can already start to smell how it's supposed to smell and the So what color we are actually looking for is this sort of color but all round. You can increase the temperature slightly but you don't want it to start burning. So and also when cooking chicken, especially since it has uh, garlic chopped garlic in it, the garlic will will start to burn faster than the other ingredients so you just need to constantly be turning it making sure nothing is sticking to the pan yes it might be a non-stick pan but you still need to make sure it doesn't stick so yeah, as you can see the color is really coming And sometimes uh, in pans the heat is not, it's supposed to be even, but it's not, sometimes it might not be even, so some pieces might cook faster than the other. So if you see a piece is cooking faster than another side, just make sure you move. So the aroma is really coming through, as you can see, it's, this is the colour that we are looking for. So after it turns uh, golden brown or towards this colour, just remove it but you see, since it also has honey, you have to be mindful not to leave it for too long. So, but the but since we've also pan seared it, the, there's still a lot of flavor here. So I'll ask um, Anthony to help me with the rest of the ingredients that were used and we can make our sauce. So what Anthony will do is that he'll help me pour this sauce in here. I can hold it for Anthony. He'll place the juices in. So while it's cooking, you... The... You know, when you're eating it, you don't want the 
the leaves to be too much so you can reduce on that you can just take them out you can leave a few strands but it's not that you have to remove everything so what we can do is we can add in some uh, chicken stock it's rather than using water it's recommended that you use chicken stock so we'll add in the chicken stock and we'll just leave it to simmer for a few minutes you can always taste Make sure you are constantly tasting and adjusting the seasoning just so that it tastes good and then also what you need to do is let it simmer until the consistency is slightly thicker. What you want is to turn the pieces of meat so they start to absorb the, the sauce that you've just made and uh, we'll progress to garnish. You don't really have to use too much lemon because the lemon might make it a bit uh, bitter or sour so just for, just for aesthetics you can just put uh, two or three pieces. and then you can uh, garnish it with some, some more parsley because since parsley was the main ingredient you don't break the flavor but just to keep it similar you can also add some sesame seeds because the za'atar had a bit of sesame but it's your personal preference and um, what we can do is um, we can you can have it with rice or you can also have it with some grilled or roasted potatoes so what we can do is that we can serve it with some with we can serve it with some potatoes You can add in anything else you want. 